Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so, in today's episode, what we're going to do is, um, put that in there, and, uh, yeah, what I want to do today is try and use the trailer to bring back some more of these, and also obviously we'll buy some more. Um, this, 66% fertiliser ready to be packed, so what we'll do is we'll pop that there and then press this button and see what happens yeah so absolutely perfect so now what does that say 16% right so you can get four out of that so then we equip this and I think we click yeah so now this will all be fertilized it is all almost ready but um that's okay that's absolutely fine so that's full and working its way so when that gets to 25% there'll be another load um, Leo hasn't had his treat yet today where is he yeah I did bring the quad bike up and the trailer it took some time getting the trailer out and that wasn't very fun viewing so I thought I'd leave that out there you go mate another magic trick and um, yeah that little pot there is just from what I had left in that barrel when I was using it for potatoes so let's pop that in there and then this is just junk this barrel I could leave it out the front and fill it up with water but um doesn't work like that does it and another thing I want to do today is get some paint for the car so I have chosen the colour that I want okay um oh yeah I need to take that up there another magic trick yeah, so today we'll be doing a live stream, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I know hardly anyone's going to come, but that's okay. And something else I want to do is this, because that seat is just too much. It's, yeah, blinding, isn't it? So I think, yeah, there we go, it's working. I think we're just going to have this black for now because I prefer that it was just a little bit too much also I've just gone round and raised the suspension a bit I know most people slam the suspension but it was into the wheel arch so I've raised the front by a bit and the back by a bit and I think it looks better but I will sort the suspension out at some point because obviously I need um, kind of a racing setup. So we're going to have Leo stay at home today. Right, so I'll see you in a bit, Leo. And we might as well take this in. Right. Yeah, so I hope you're all well. I hope you're all having a good day. Let's get this trader connected. Yeah, I'd um, wedge this trailer between a couple of trees. So I'll just use the quad bike to get it out. And the quad bike isn't four-wheel drive, unfortunately. Uh, I'll reckon that. Donk. Right, everyone's just going to have to wait. It's in gear. <laughs> Nowhere near. Uh, will that let me? No. Right, so forward a bit. Not that much. I could just use the other camera, couldn't I? That'll do us. Okay. So this is just going to be a boring drive into town. So I'll probably just meet you lot there. I should be taking some barrels up. Back around. But I just can't be bothered. Because the um, the herbs are uh, a better income, I think. So I won't worry about that. I'll probably regret it come Sunday. But we can afford everything we need. Um, which really is just the French fry press from the basement. But we haven't got enough pots yet to um, 
do potatoes down there so I'm not too worried I'm glad that it's raining as well because that obviously means that um, I don't need to water the potatoes so that's all good we have actually got a couple of empty barrels down here haven't we but won't be bringing them back today uh, just down in that little pit because uh, pops are the most important thing so I'll see you in a bit I'll quickly see Roger as we're here um, I think we've bought everything later on when um, I've done races and stuff hello mate how's it going hello um, I should be able to buy some different suspension parts and uh, yeah I've been playing the long drive so expect mistakes can we give you one of these yes you are so kind thank you you're very very welcome would you like another one whatever right so um yeah I think we've got everything got a carbon one of them yeah so I'm not gonna buy anything different yeah I really do need to um set the suspension up properly because uh Obviously, we're losing a lot of handling with the current stuff. And I probably should go to the post office soon. I'm um, going to go to the petrol station first. And buy some paints. And some coffee. And I'll just leave the coffee somewhere. Right, so, back in a moment. Okay, so I've already said hello to him. I didn't record it, but um, let's try and sell these. Nope. Right, so they both want small packs. Typical. But it's extra money, so it doesn't matter. Right, nice to see you again, lad. So what I'll do now is... Um, I do actually want to go and buy a load of poutine and leave it outside, but it's not open yet. So now, I'm going to drive over to Melanie's. No, I'm not. I'm going to go down and see Eric. I should have offered them some of them. Oh. Yeah, go down and see Eric. I don't think there's going to be any empties there, but we haven't really got room for them anyway, because I want to focus on our little meth lab. Now, our little um, lab downstairs, and it looks like we do have empties, isn't it? Bugger it. six oh well right so i very much doubt it but i'm gonna take one of these in because i'm such a nice guy and can we do it through the wall <laughs> yeah we can <laughs> right hello mate that was a magic trick how's it going right we will buy some more of these as always so yeah i'll see you in a moment Okay, so I bought all of the pots that she had. I can definitely get more in, but it was um, properly glitching out. So I'm just going to try and get some of these back home. And it's going to be a slow journey. See, look, I've got loads of room left. And I think you might be able to double stack them as well. So you put one in the right way round, and then on top of it, one the other way round. And... Uh, yeah, I think that makes it more stable, but the trailer was basically giving birth to them, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna get these home, it doesn't matter. So I'll see you at home in a minute. Okay, so we're back home and um it was from there to there. So I think I lost one or two on the way back. But um these are ready to harvest. And also, that's almost ready to produce another one. So that's good. So let's go through and do our first little harvest of these. I think this barrel's going to get full up quite quick. And it might be that I need two barrels um, or more for this. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll probably edit this out. <coughs> well, pause it next time I do it because it's a bit boring. But did a little experiment up the top there with the new barrels so uh, with the new pots because I don't know whether you can put them 
kind of edge to edge without causing glitches. Um, so obviously there's only one way to find out. So I'm going to go through this. So 87%. Press it again. 77%. So yeah, it won't take long. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so using the torch helps you see which ones have something in and which ones don't. I've locked all of them in. There might be the odd one that I've accidentally not done. Yeah, one of the things that I'm worried about, double stacking them, or, you know, just making it a solid line of pots, is when I was um, growing this outside, sometimes I used to get stuck walking on top of the pots. So I don't really want that to happen. Um, there's no way of doing this neatly, by the way, um, unless I used mods probably but um yeah i'm quite pleased i haven't used mods so i'll quickly show you it um i haven't used mods or cheats so yeah they're my statistics oh look 999 and yeah and as you can see died four times but apart from that i haven't used cheats and so everything that i've got here i know it's taken some time it's not any kind of speed run but everything i've got I've done myself right so we've done all that and we've only got 7% left so let's take this up see where we can nope they're not quite ready yet so I think we've got enough to make a huge pack here right not quite so I don't know how many it takes but you just let them fall down and um, yeah then you can do that we've got loads of seeds left and that's almost ready to do another fertilizer but anyway right so next thing on the agenda today is um we'll have some of this actually yeah we'll have some of that yeah that did work good is to paint the car so what i'm going to do say hello to leo i'm going to pause it here and then yeah reveal the new color so back in a moment i hope you like it okay so i went for metallic red and um yeah i really like it i think it looks good i do need to sort something out because um the front bumper is slightly off color but yeah so metallic lime green and what i will do is try and copy this kind of color and get it on the roof because you can't get um, carbon vinyl unfortunately and the spoiler will be the same colour so it will be a kind of carbon look over the top but yeah I like it I like it a lot I'll also do the mirrors in the same colour and um, yeah I'm going to do the camber and stuff of this but um, yeah I need to have a look at some guides I don't want to completely mess the handling up and I'd really like to be able to change this to Jolly. But I can't at the moment. And you're probably wondering why I haven't taken all this to the scrapyard. One of the reasons is I've got a feeling. So I'm not um, an insider. I don't know this. But I've got a feeling that one of the scrap cars down there you'll be able to rebuild so these parts might come in very very handy obviously the bolts won't because um yeah i've got so many of them but yeah what do you think i like it i like it a lot what do you think leo do you like it but yeah i'd um i'd drive that definitely anyway right why are you saying that you've got no food mate come and have a look leo Look, what's that? Right, so downstairs now, there should be a pack of fertiliser. Yeah, so 26%. So if I'm right, that will then say 1%. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah, so I'll probably get another few of these. Um, is that ready yet? I don't know how much it speeds up the um, production, but yeah, this let's just try walking on here. Well, it seems quite stable. Yeah, outside, I, 
Right, so just there, did you see it? When it dipped down, that wasn't me crouching, that was him falling down. And outside, sometimes the only way of getting out of that situation was unlocking the pots, moving them, and then it kind of freed me up. So it might actually cause issues. Um, but we'll see. So yeah, we've still got some pots down at the um, thingy bob. And we're getting quite tired now. How are our potatoes doing out here? Yeah, all watered and everything. All lovely. Nice. And obviously we have got loads of seeds for potatoes. So, what time are we at? 15 minutes. What I'll do, I'll um, drive this down and yeah, load some of the bloody barrels up, I suppose. Even though it's Friday, so it doesn't actually matter too much, does it? No, it doesn't matter. So what shall I do instead? Take them down. Did I give you your treat today, Leo? Yeah, you have to kind of move out of his hitbox. Yes, I did. Right. Yeah, I'll take it down there. Right, I'll um, pause this bit, so... I'll see you in a moment. Right, so I'm going to load these lids in. So it was three I bought back because um, if you remember, I threw one through the window. We've got all these barrels here. And um, yeah, obviously it's Friday. We've got six barrels up at the outside Eric's. But yeah, this was kind of just our stepping stone, wasn't it? To um, get the bunker. So yeah, it's, it's all going really well. And I know it's just a game, but I'm quite proud of my progress, quite honestly. So many people give up or cheat. And I think it's quite an accomplishment. That's why I am going to keep on playing my summer car, because although I hate it, and um, yeah, it's really, really stressful, mm. it's an achievement. So the engine runs... Yeah, and uh, I don't want to give too much away, but yeah, it's, it's getting there. And if someone's played it without that um, mod that I've got, show bolt sizes, fair play. Huge achievement, getting the engine running and everything sorted. Whereas I did it on kind of very easy mode. So many barrels. And I can't load these up until I'm about to move the truck because it just pushes them all out. Even the um, bed of the truck, when I put them in there, it just starts moving them all off. I've tried it with the handbrake on or with the handbrake off. But yeah, no luck. Mm. Yes, we know. So I've got some coffee and some poutine up here, but not enough. I will be bringing loads up here. And I'll be having these like little stashes about everywhere. So that um yeah, I don't keep dying. Right, so it's coming up to eleven o'clock on here. Let's do this last one. And then yeah, I think run back to the house. That can do its thing, the barrels outside, the container things. I've still got stuff in. Only a little bit. But yeah. So we'll turn that light off. And I'll see you back at the house. Right, got to sleep. I'm going to die. Ah. Yeah, so that does bring us really close to the end of the episode. So, yeah, I think we're doing all right. Got poutine in the wardrobe. Um, yeah, we've got the dog. We've got the bunker. We've got the buggy thing. So I think the only thing left to buy now is the French fry press. Oh, and also apparently there's a boat. Um, but I don't know anything about the boat. Well, I say apparently. Yeah, there's a boat. So, yeah, that's something else that um, we need to buy. But apart from that, we're all good, aren't we? Got a lovely car now. Yeah, I really like it.
and I've glitched through the wall. There we go. So I'm going to save it. Nice. And I'll end it here. So thanks for watching, everyone. And um, if you've enjoyed it, please consider maybe subscribing, um, hitting the thumb button, or just join me in the next one until I win your trust. And um, yeah, you become one of my biggest fans. <laughs> right. Cheers, everyone. And bye for now.